What's up, you guys? It's Gypsy. Um, yeah, don't mind me looking a hot mess. Um, <laughs> so I had I had got this doll like a while ago from Walmart when it was on clearance. It's the Adrian's Perfume Project Empty Squared doll. I only got her for her clothes because I wanted to see if it will fit on a Barbie. So I am going to test that out, try it on on this doll. And let's see what happens. Okay, so this doll, I took all her clothes off. And I've got her on a articulated body. But it's not a made to move. And then her, I'm really mostly interested in her uh, jacket. But I'm going to try and see how much of the outfit I can fit onto her. And I took her hands off. That's why she has no hands on her wrist. Oh man. I don't like when they sew things down like that. It's like if you're not careful you can rip the fabric. If you don't know that there's thread there. And then it leaves holes. And just ugliness. I don't like that. But anyways... Oh, this is cute. Look at her little cute dress. That's cute. Um, I mean, dang. Their bodies are much thinner than a Barbie's. But they're not as small as uh, Bratz dolls. I feel like they're like similar to like maybe a... Maybe like a Skipper doll. So, I'll take my chances. I know the shoes are going to be too big, but I might be able to put these big shoes on my um, Wonder Woman doll. We'll see. That will be really good. Because her feet are gigantic. Okay. I don't know if these are similar. I do like her hair. It's very soft. It's pretty. And she's got some little sunglasses on. That's what's up. I do like the Project MC Squared dolls. Their head molds are really pretty. Um, but I'm just not a big fan of their bodies. Especially the articulated ones. They're very weak. And don't like to hold up the weight of their giant heads on their little thin hollow bodies. So that's why I don't really mess with them too much. But I do love their head sculpts. Oh man. Okay. This is not good. Ah, too tight, too tight. Yeah. Uh, I thought she had a chance. I might have to save this for maybe a petite doll or a skipper or something. Oh, darn it. <laughs> it's so cute, though. Mm, if only it had fit, right? I mean, she can wear it without closing it if I never show the back of the doll, but... Goodness, that's ghetto. Yeah, I do like it, though. It's pretty. Okay, so good news. This jacket does fit on my Barbie's body. Um, of course, you can't close it. It doesn't have any closures anyway. But even if it did, it wouldn't close because it's still tight. You see? Yeah, it's just not going to happen. So, that's a little bit of a drawback. But not really because, I mean, I would have had it open on her anyway. So, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, she can get in there and it doesn't fit too tight. That's a huge plus. And then another cute, cool little thing is that her stockings also fit. So that's pretty neat. Love that. I like to put these kinds of stockings on my curvy dolls. They have thick legs. They always seem to look really good on them. Uh, and then another thing is I tried the dress on Griselda. And, <laughs> oh man, it looks good on her. It's so short. But look, I can't get the Velcro all the way up to the top. Only the bottom half because her torso is really thin. Ugh, so I gotta keep trying it on other dolls to see if any of them fit. Oh, but more good news. So this is my Wonder Woman doll on her original body. And she can fit into the shoes that Adrian came with. So that's a plus because, oh my goodness, her feet are dimungous. And I do have a little collection of um, shoes for these dolls 
that were given to me by Howl on Instagram. So uh, finally I can put them on this doll and she can actually have some shoes. I did, they are still kind of small for her though. I had to like really force her feet in there. You see how like the plastic is kind of tight around her, but that's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. I'd rather she have some tight shoes than none at all. I wanted to show you guys this too real quick. These are my two integrity doll bodies and like there's a huge size difference between Griselda and Evie. Evie is actually a Barbie, she's just on my uh, Poppy Parker body. But yeah, there's a big difference in the construction of their bodies and absolutely Griselda's body is, has more weight to it. Like she's very heavy and I really like that about this body. Whereas with the Poppy Parker body, it's very like loose and, and um, wobbly and thin. So, I mean, when I say thin, I mean it's like it's not gotten a lot of weight to it. It's very hollow. Um, but her body has a lot of weight, and I wonder why. I wonder what the difference is. But I thought that was interesting. And of course, look, their um, chests are different sizes too. So, overall, she's much bigger and thicker. And I thought that was interesting to note. So I'm having the same issue with the Poppy Parker body, even though it's a little bit skinnier. I got the Velcro up a little higher than Griselda's, but sorry, Evie, it's not going to happen. But isn't it so cute, though? Oh my goodness, this dress is cute on her. It's cute on everyone. Well, finally, um, I put it on this doll. She's on a skipper body, so she's got no boobs. No hips, and that seems to be doing the trick. <laughs> so, yeah. This skipper body is the same height as the petite dolls are, but I'm not certain that the body dimensions are quite the same because petite Barbies do have more of a chest and they have hips. Their hips are actually kind of wide. So, I'm not sure that it would fit on a petite Barbie any better than all these other dolls I've tried, but. If you got a skipper doll that needs some clothes, then you can share with um, these Project Empty Squared dolls, in case you didn't know. I was just trying to experiment to see what I could do with these clothes, because I do like them, and I thought it was a pretty good deal for 9 bucks, especially because the jacket. I really need the jacket, so I'm glad that that fits. Alright, so finally, I was able to get this dress on a regular doll that's like an adult size. So, the Wonder Woman Barbie with the athletic body type seems to be able to fit this best. Okay, the back, I was able to close it all the way up to the top, but it's not going to close so that none of the Velcro is showing like it does on the original doll. That it came on but she can totally get away with it and another little tip the project empty squared doll shoes with the high heel style fit on uh, Wonder Woman's feet so I tried on a couple of other um, ones that I have here in this little pack um, these are some accessories that my friend Howell on Instagram sent to me those were some of the shoes that were in there and they fit really good so I'm happy 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 that those shoes are able to get some use on this doll and I think she looks okay in the dress this dress just I don't know just the design of the dress looks good on pretty much on all the dolls that I've put it on so it shouldn't surprise me that she looks good in it but I don't know I might have to find her a little sweater or a jacket to go over it cuz her arms are just so muscular and it's so, um, you know, ironic that she's got on this dressy little outfit. But anyways, it's pretty cute. And then I put her stockings on this doll who I was originally trying to um, put the jacket on to. And I did try these stockings on her legs, which are much bigger, but... They didn't fit good on her legs. They didn't really go up past her calves because they're really thick. So, eh, that's okay. They're pretty cute. And I just put some sandals on with her. I just put a pair of sandals on with them. 
but I really like um, all the clothing and stuff that the doll came with. She didn't come with any accessories like jewelry, just this purse that Wonder Woman is wearing. And then my sweet love, Griselda here. <laughs> She's got on a shiny dress. By Mattel, and then I put the jacket on her too because I wanted to see how it felt on her body type. And she's much taller than a regular Barbie doll, but her torso is skinnier and her chest is larger. And it seems to look okay on her. I really do like it. And it was easy to get on her because her hands pop off. So with my other Barbie, it was so difficult to get her fingers through the sleeves. I had to really like fight um, through the sleeves to get the fingers through just because it's like a tweed jacket and there's a lot of little holes even though you can't see them because um, it's like a woven type of a pattern so yeah that was a challenge but anyways I really like how she looks in the jacket and I think it looks very posh on her and I'm glad that I was able to utilize most of the clothing items that this doll, um, the Adrian doll, came with. So, thanks for playing Dolly Dress Up with me tonight, you guys. So, if you had fun watching this video, like the video and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Make sure you're following us on Instagram where we post updates and have live video sessions every week. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having yourselves a dolly day.